Okay, let's try this. Okay, hi! How you doing this evening? I personally am doing quite good. I am here streaming for y'all. And I got a lot of random shit. So... We really do need to go to the traders again, even though we were just there. So, since you all have seen me, okay, we can just pause the music for a moment. Since you all have seen me, I've done a bit of work. Uh, I have been doing some resource production and stuff, but mostly I've been working on the house. Drove back home from the Wasteland City that we were at last time. And uh, got a fair bit done, but ran out of supplies, so came back here and found a screamer, apparently. Where are you? Oh. Okay. Well, at least she's gone. She definitely screamed and nothing came, so I don't know what's up with that. Anyways. Lots of this. Okay. So... I will be heading over to uh, the base in a moment so that we can go over and look at what's going on and make some more decisions on it. First, I'm going to grab some stuff, because things, to craft things. Need stuff and things. I guess I'll bring the storage boxes. Need those eventually anyways. Gonna grab some paint. Because we're honestly not all that not all that far away from that yet. Or yet? Now. Might as well bring like a full inventory of stuff. Or at least a fair bit of stuff with me. Gosh. Oh my gosh, our potted plants. We can bring our potted plants with us. Aim for potted plants. What else should I bring? Oh, wait. This stuff. Be in the same container. Okay. So, we have a few things to look at right now. So, I crafted a level 2 M60, but we found a new one. So, that's something I want to play with. And we also got a Blade Trap bundle, and I don't totally know what's in here. Um, I'm going to take a guess. I'm going to say there's probably a Blade Trap in here. But besides that, I don't know what else. Holy shit, 10 Blade Traps? That's like 400 steel worth of Blade Traps. No, not in the slightest. 150 iron, 150 steel, 120 mechanical parts, 90 electronic, par electronic parts, and 150 oil. Wow. That is pretty darn good. Oil. Yeah, I have nowhere near that amount of oil. <laughs> okay, well, cool. I guess we can place these at the horde base eventually. Got some switches and some more relays so we can extend our wires. And some trap books. Okay. So let's check out the M60. I'm excited for it. Oh, you're a beefcake. Let's see. I mean, maybe I should put some, some like, mods on it or something, but... <laughs> Besides that, uh, okay. 
foregrip mod, uh, send in magazine mod, uh, muzzle brake. Can't put an 8x on there, that seems silly. Oh wait, I think I can put the attracting stock on there. Oh. Okay, well I can put three of those things on there. I really would like a scope. Or an iron, like, the iron sights are not very good. <laughs> like a fucking paperclip. Okay, well let's see what this is like anyways. The picture, it has, like, a bayonet. Definitely does not have a bayonet. Um, out here. Let's see what this thing does. Have things respawned in here yet? Hello? That doesn't have a huge amount of kick, but it's really strong. Oh, I can loot this stuff again. It is really stupid strong, though. Look at what over here. Like that water. The desk? No. Oh. Darn it, I was hoping I could loot that. Let's go to the next door building. Wow, with the extended clip, it has 90. This clip is 90 shots. That's pretty good. Cash register. I guess I should check the shop shelves. This is going to be really fun for the Horde Knight. Really seems fitting for that. No? Nothing? There we go. Huh. I thought there was supposed to be, like, dogs here or something. Yeah, this thing's not incredibly imposing, in my opinion, but it definitely, definitely does the damage. Archery book. Too much block damage. Oh, I guess there's not really a way to tell. Also running out of bullets, so I should be like somewhat careful. Do -do -do. Nervous me that we haven't seen any dogs yet. Am I going to regret saying that in a second? Maybe. No? No. Huh. Hello, friend. Bye, friend. Okay, that really was not... I kind of expected the vet's office to have animals in it, besides the random snake. 
Oh, fuck. My is full. Okay, suffice to say, the M6 is great. Take up track. Ow. I don't believe for a second that there was just six nails in that pickup truck. I don't feel like my character searched very hard. Okay, back home. Okay, so, got a bit sidetracked, but we are going to head over to the house. Why didn't I take my steroids earlier? I want to start using those a bit more, because those do not very much. And they're great. I'm going to swap out the shotgun, rarely. Do like it, but the M60 is new and cool, so. It'll sit there for now. Oh, does it have. It has rad remover on it. I still don't have enough rad removers, so I'm gonna. Bounce between it. Wait, no, I need that. No. 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 God damn it. Everything is trying to run away from me. Okay. There we go. That's full. I guess we'll bring some extra 762 because it does not seem to. It seems to go pretty fast. <laughs> in here too. Now, yeah, let's get rid of this crap. I'll come back and do it. Okay. Bullets. Actually have lock picks this time. Not busy. Drink. <laughs> Ooh. Let's head over to the new base. The new base hasn't had like huge amounts of construction done on it or anything yet. I need wood. I just remember that. Hasn't had a huge amount of construction on it. Uh I did finish up the stuff that we were doing last time though. So, the uh, base of the base is built now. Uh, now it's time to actually shape it. God, I need, I need more stones so badly. <laughs> One too many times. Okay. So today... We are going to make some decisions on the base. We're going to decide where everything goes and actually plan things out and do, do just that fun stuff. And also maybe get distracted and salvage some stuff too. Well, no, not to get distracted. We are going to like, go and do some scavenging and stuff. We're not just going to do building. I mainly want to show off the building I've done so that... Uh, we can plan out the rest so that I can work on that off camera, and then we can do some scavenging on camera. We ow! Whoa! <laughs>
Okay. That was actually kind of cool. I don't think I could ever replicate that again, but it was cool. <laughs> Woo! Okay, that's a good jump. <laughs> I love the speed on this thing. It's so nice. Okay, I cleared out some trees as well. But for the most part, I just built up the stuff that we didn't do last time. That's all it is. And it actually took, like, basically every bit of concrete we had at the time. I started using, like, wood blocks and stuff just to, like, finish it off. Oh, right, everything's a spike. I need that, okay. Move the chests over to here. <laughs> the floating part is, like, the main important part of the base. <laughs> Oh yeah, also I got another full level off screen just upgrading shit. Building it is like some of the best XP in the game. And I just remembered we had the music off. Okay. I'm gonna finish concreting this last bit here. We've already gotten a quarter of a level. So theoretically, we won't actually have zombies, like, attacking us very much, because we're not going to have, we're not going to do any hordes here, but we are going to see zombies, so I do want to actually, like, plan out defenses at some point, because we have no defenses besides being floating. I guess I could, like, make a spike mode or something. There we are. It looks much cooler now that you have, like, the full thing here. But, like, everything's all blocky. Loading. Okay. Where should I put this crap? All goes in here. Okay, so what we're standing on right now, we decided last time was going to be the floor level. So we're going to actually start to choose like where walls are going to go now. Wish I had more frames to make some more of those. Well, maybe not 3,000. Uh, 200 at maximum. I'll keep that on me. Okay. So, 
We're going to have the storage room over here. But we're going to have walls there. No, not like that. There. I looked wrong. Okay. This is roughly what the walls are going to look like, and then we'll have the workstations here, 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 which will mean we'll have four workstations, a little bit of upgrade for where, where we've currently been. This area is going to be like fairly closed in, and it's going to have to be like it's going to have to be lit with artificial light, unfortunately. But such is life. Now the rest of this place. So I was talking about making a jump into this base at some point. Because that would be really, really cool. Uh, and it definitely would be cool. I also learned something else, though. Uh, usually, I would do a tunnel to get to a base. Well, that's not possible. Because the tunnel opens up into just this. So I can't actually have a tunnel going up. Because even if, like, I do a small, um, even if I were to, like, make, like, a little pipe here going up, that's just what, there's just a new thing for the zombies to go after. It kind of defeats the whole purpose of it being floating. So, the bike jump might actually be required. <laughs> Is what I'm thinking. I was thinking of making this corner the jump corner. I currently just have the storage chest over here because it's not the storage room. Usually it's best to make a temporary storage room where your storage room isn't going to go because it's easier to move stuff into your storage room when you're designing it if it's not full of shit already. So... How did I do this? Apparently it's like this. I think. Yeah. Is that enough room for a jump? Probably not. What about... Well, hmm. Bit weird having just like that one block there. I don't want it to be like odd looking. Because like we're going to want to have like some sort of door here. Because this is this is going to be like an outside area that we're landing on. This is technically what would work. It's really weird to have things on an angle, though. Okay, no. That's... That doesn't look very good. Uh, hmm. How can we design this so that the door would look decent? Is that what I just did? Yes. Then I could have two double doors. I don't know if that's going to look good, though. I could also have two reinforced, uh, reinforced steel doors, too. Like the big vault doors you see. Those ones are... Cool. Like, I want to make sure there's enough room for the landing. Actually, I don't even know, like... What sort of... I don't even know what sort of momentum we're going to need to ramp with this game. Did I accidentally make each side six? 
Oh. That's kind of ass, actually. Okay, right, well, I'll have to figure that one out. Okay, I'm going to need a decently large ramp, so I guess I'm going to do four wide for that. Roughly where I want to be, but it needs to be far enough away that zombies can't just walk up it and jump onto the, like, jump onto where my front door is, onto the patio. So I think if I have a jump, I'm probably going to be uh, susceptible to spider zombies no matter what I do. So there is unfortunately that. Uh, give me a ramp. Ramp frame. Okay, uh, hopefully this isn't too steep. How can I spider a zombie proof a ramp? That's what I'm wondering. Because they jump one block up and straight across. Would make this very easy for them to get onto. I might have to just deal with them. That might just be my reality. Okay, let's find out if this is too steep or not. Okay. So, block damage is going to be dealt to the bottom, is what I've just noticed. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I have an idea. It shouldn't destroy it immediately. And I can break that easy. That was so sad! <laughs> okay. It does tell me I don't need much momentum. Which is good. Um. <laughs> but. Hmm. The other option is I just do something really stupid and basic. And I just, like, fucking climb up. Okay, how low does this have to be? Okay, well, that gets me up fairly easily. That might actually be what I end up doing, is I just do, like, a double ladder on both of these sides. Because, like, if I'm already going to be in danger of spider zombies, I might as well make it, like reasonable for me and they don't they're not very good at jumping so like they're not i don't think they're gonna be able to reach that they're not they're not really good at like jump like they can't parkour or anything they're just zombies so i do have that benefit Okay, ladder. Scaffold. Like. Kind of strange, but. That? So I'll have two places to enter. I just hope that that's not a problem when I have, like, my leg broken or something and can barely jump. 
I guess I'll just have to make a frame in that case if I can't get up. Okay, so this this ramp is too steep. By far. If I want to do a ramp, I'm going to have to do... Well, this was one, two, three, four, five blocks. So I'm probably going to have to do a ramp that's about ten blocks in length to make this work. Because if I make it gradual enough, theoretically, I'll be able to jump without damaging the blocks themselves. The problem is that they... I don't know why... Okay, I do somewhat know why they make the vehicles do block damage. I guess partially for realism and partially for the fact that if you run a motorcycle into something, it might... Actually, a motorcycle wouldn't do much damage. Nor would the mini bikes, despite the fact that they do. Maybe it's just to clear through things that are, like, you get stuck on, like, in the wasteland, but... I don't know, I feel like the... I guess the spikes would also do damage, like, whatever you run into, whether it be something solid or not. Hmm... In any case. Pick up all these. Now that we have an actual entrance. I mean, if we have concrete here, we're going to be fine. We don't really need to have much. Because there aren't really going to be things that are popping up here very often. Okay, so for these corners, wondering about a ramp block. Advanced. Want is that right there. Want exactly that. There. Okay, so we have a door here, door here, the ramp blocks kind of make it look somewhat natural, maybe. At least that's the idea. Then... Oh god. <laughs> First one's always the hardest, because you have to... No, I went by it! Okay. Ugh. That was not as bad as it could have been. I was worried for a second. No, I don't want that one. I do want to like smooth out the corners a little bit in this. I can put some plants over here too. I'm gonna need a manufacturing area. Which I guess will be here. I can put one, two, three, four forges in each section. I can have eight forges total. Two iron. Two iron, a lead, a brass, and then four stone furnaces. And then I'll probably need to have a chem station separate, because I believe chem stations are three blocks wide instead of two blocks wide. There is that to consider. Okay. I fill that up. I do this. You won't be able to see it from the inside, but I would be able, like, like how thin this is, but you would be able 
put a pillar in between each, then. Might look nicer, it's hard to say. I don't know if it's better to, like, squish the furnaces together, or forges together, or if it's better to have a bit of a spacing in between them. Oh! Okay, no, I definitely need a spacing in between them, because I need a spot to put the cement mixers, and the cement mixers could be should be very close to the, uh, the forges. So I could put a stack of four cement mixers here, and four cement mixers here. That would be perfect. Because I need those. Or, conversely... I put the stacks right here. And then I have the forge, 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 and forge. What do y'all think? The lazy streamer way of delegating responsibility. <laughs> like, it looks weird from this position, but that's just because the build isn't done. Like, it will look a bit better in when time has passed, and, like, this is built up a bit. Oh, wait, I could put... Putting that aside for a second. I could put windows here and here, so you can look out there and you can look out there. Stack up here. So we would have windows looking out. You can put a potted plant right there if we want. Speaking of which, I'm to potted plant everything. I spoke about the potted plant options very, very early on, a very long time ago. Now it is time. Gosh, pots, plants. So much plant, so wow. Gosh, so many options. Uh, pick this one now. The pod plant right there. Put another one here because I'm gonna have matching windows. So weird having like this. So I mean, I don't even know if I want this here at all. Something has to happen here, but I don't know if I need a full full wall there or not. Like, we're going to need some fences. Fence! There's catwalk trim, windows, destruction. Oh, destroy stuff. Okay, here. Baluster right. These look fairly ornate. Okay, I need I need something with corners. If there's no corner ones, then I can't use it. <laughs> I don't think. Unless I want to do something really weird. I, mean, I do like doing weird things. No, I want it on an angle. No, I just... No, I don't want any of this crap. No! 
No, I just... I went diagonal! It doesn't do diagonal, does it? Wait. No, some of that was diagonal. Shit. Saw a diagonal for a second. On. A diagonal. Diagonal. I swear I saw a diagonal. This game is gaslighting me. Come on. Okay, so that's not going to work, is what I'm getting from this. I only want an industrial. Okay, fine. Let's just look at this for a second. Oh, well, I mean, it's not so bad. Really weird looking wood. I'll just be copy, okay. Wait. Oh, I flipped them accidentally. Oh, wait, that looks way better, though. Damn it. Corner me, please. No. Yes! Okay. That's what I'm looking for. Exactly that. Maybe that? That does. Okay, there we go. Oh no. Copy rotation? Oh my gosh, that worked. Okay, so this be frames. Which would kind of partially stop spiders from jumping up. I mean, okay. They can't jump from here. Actually, hold on a second. They could, because if they catch the ladder, they can go up. They might actually be able to latch onto the uh, fences and go right up them. Because they can't, like, they do climb. We haven't seen much example of it, but they do climb when their dumb AI actually lets them. But a single spider zombie is not going to be that dangerous. None of the really dangerous stuff will appear. Not in this place. Ooh, I can do this. I can also everything feels very flat now. <laughs> hmm. Might not be might not be good, but we'll see. Okay, so the doors are only too tall, so
I could also have floor to ceiling windows, which might be even better. Count those two. Because this room's going to be at minimum four high. Technically, the storage room would have to be five high, I think. I want to get six in each section. Six uh, storage blocks above each uh, workstation. Wait, no. Station, copy shape. That does look a bit less rough. I am trying to soften the walls a little bit, at least for the inside. Because, I mean, the walls are pretty rough right now. Like, everything is very strict, hard, meant, very jagged. The only problem with that is I probably can't do much embellishment on the outside. Um, at least not embellishment that's, like... Like, I can't make these blocks, for example, uh, like these. Because this plate right here will show that it's not the same size. Unless there's other types of plates. I've been using mainly this just standard plate. Okay, I need exactly that, but with a plate. <laughs> plate, half triangle. That might actually be exactly what I'm looking for. I think that's exactly what I'm looking for, but I just need to flip it. Yeah, okay. But I would then, again, have to do. Come on. Uh. I really do appreciate the options, but sometimes it's a bit much. <laughs> okay, so these would have to be on dirt. That's the only way I can do it. Otherwise, I would have to do a full concrete block right there. That would be jagged no matter what I do. I'm not sure. I'm definitely going to put a pin in that for now, though. Figure that out later. Okay, so this is looking pretty good now. Really starting to shape up. Let's just pretend that's the that's the ceiling. No, I don't know if I like floor to ceiling window. I think that'll look a bit better. Actually, something just occurred to me. Would I be able to... Oh, my brain has to process this before I can word it. Uh, okay. Take, take half block. Shit, that was the one I was looking for. Okay, don't do that. That was not intended. Oh wait, no, these aren't blocks. These are going to be the uh, the uh, cement mixers. Damn it. Okay, that's not going to work then. Yeah, 
Unless I wanted to do this. Let me... Just pick up the rest of the blocks here so that... Set up the rest of the blocks so that it looks the way it's supposed to look. Rather than... Whatever it looks like right now. Right now it looks really weird. And it does kind of look weird in general, but most of that is stuff you'll only see from the outside. Or most of that stuff is like, you'll only see it because you can see the inside and the outside at once right now, and you won't be able to see that for long. That's right like that. Okay, so this, when this is all you can see, it looks decent. Let's see what it looks like outside. Well, ignoring that, it looks exactly like it would if that was concrete. Like, if that was a full block. The only problem is light leakage. Because this game has a tendency to leak light out of the corners of its block sometimes. And we won't be able to tell that till nighttime. Oh, I don't know about that, but we'll we'll look at that. So if, if we're going to deal with light leakage, then we're also going to deal with that even if these are full blocks because there's no block here or there that's solid. Which might just be something we have to accept. We might not get really much of a choice in that. Ah, oh, finish that off. Okay. Here. Don't know. I have no plans for this room yet. Unfortunately. Currently, this is just an empty room there. This is the storage room. This is the construction room. This is the patio and the entrance way. This doesn't have a spot. There's not anything here for it. I need to have a place eventually for a farm, which will probably go on the next level up above this. I need a place for my chem stations and my campfires. Oh my gosh, I can make this a kitchen! This would actually be a really good kitchen. And I do do really, really need to make sure that I have some sort of pillars in this place to make sure that it doesn't fall apart on me. Because stability is going to be a big deal. Wait, no, that's... Or high. So I might genuinely need to put, like... Oh, wait, hold on a second. I was going to say, like, I might need to, to, like, put, like, a bunch of blocks. Like, this would be the ideal for stability, but then you have to walk around it every time you want to get to the furnaces. Um... But... Oh. Oh, we ran out of, <laughs> we ran out of building blocks. Okay. Uh, grab another 200. So this is kind of the problem right there. Because we do need some sort of... Uh, like stability thing. However, as we have learned, the just because something looks like it's not a full block doesn't mean, it, regardless what shape a block is, it counts as a full block. So we are going to look at the poles here. We are going to look at different poles because these are ugly. <laughs> Wait, no. That's the problem. Uh, okay. I think this is what we would look for. So watch this. So instead of that, I'm going to recreate it exactly in here. Dead. Exactly what we would want. So 
So this right here has the exact same stability as this does, this giant pillar, because this is technically four blocks. It doesn't obscure your view, so you can still like run around and do things. It is kind of annoying and in the way, but we also need to not have the building fall apart on us. So there's that. Uh, but this would give us a lot more stability having that in specific. We might need to have a few of those throughout the house, actually. Make sure it doesn't like fall apart. Unless we're going to like subdivide these into rooms. And like there are kind of going to be rooms, but like not totally. Like there, this is going to be open concept so far. So I'm going to grab uh, this. Oh, that's the wrong one. This one, then. Oh, not. Whatever. Place it this way. Okay, so we have that. No! No! No, I hate it when you go past it. Okay. Okay, bit of a wedge there. This will mean that, like, it will have, like, we, this will, like, more, this will solidify the concept of quadrants into the house a bit better by having the wedges here. Uh, it will make it harder to have windows, though. That actually makes sense. Unless I want to do this and have a window right here. Hold on, let me... Put this together so we can see what it'll look like. That should be right. Okay, so it's looking like this. That's interesting. So you'd be able to look out right here. Actually, depending how we play it, we could also do is if we want to once again reuse plates. Oh, pull double top. Let's try this. We can do something like this as well. Oh, I need advance for this. Yeah, we could do this, and then we can get much, much closer to the edge and look at it. So that looks even weirder now with these. I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm going to build up most of this now while I'm off stream. I'll go through, I'll do all that stuff, we'll come back, we'll do more designing later. Uh, I probably will put a kitchen here. Uh, and just to make sure that I actually remember what's going on, because I have a tendency to not. Okay, for kitchen. Or for cat, depending on... Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> I... <laughs> Does that mean... Oh, <clears throat> this is stupid. Never actually... Oh. Okay, well, that's not how you use it. I've never actually used these before. <laughs> cool. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay. 
So we've been going for about an hour and 16 minutes, and about an hour of that has been just this. So I'm going to call this good. Uh, I'm just going to do one more. I'm going to do one just quick tour right now. This will this will just like be the full tour for what we have and what's going on, and then we will go and loot. Okay. So we have our patio here with our fences. Not set on the fences, but we can change those. We have our ladders to get in. This is our entryway. We're going to have windows here and here, here and here. We're going to have two doors, a like a vault door here and a vault door here. Different options. Uh, let's see, come in here. This will be our forage room, our production room. This will be our storage room here with workbenches and storage chests. And then this over here will be our kitchen. I'm going to put the K back in because I forgot that it was going to be a kitchen or like that one moment that I was picking up the K. Hit. Is that enough? No, I'm going to put the rest in. <laughs> I don't trust myself not to forget. Sure, I'm probably going to remember what ki kitsch means. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to have a full kitchen here. We'll have uh, our workbenches. No, no. What's the word I'm looking for? We'll have our campfires here. Maybe I can even make some, like, couches or something to put in here. And I could make a fridge, potentially, that I could store things in. Because, like, you can make... You can either, like, make or buy fridges and, like, other like, complicated things. Oh, God. I don't know if I want to leave the word kits there forever, but, uh... Actually, wait, how many letters is kitchen? A-I-T-C-H-E-N... That's seven. Only four wide. Hmm. With six letters, I could easily just, like, place it on the wall. <laughs> I'll see if I can do something about that. Um... But I will probably buy some, like, fridges and stuff, and we'll have, like, a proper kitchen going on here. And that'll be where we store things. Because, like, you can store things in the fridges, just like their loot containers. That'll be much nicer than storing food in a storage box, or drinks in a storage box. I mean, who really wants warm beer in a crate? Okay. Something's off. Don't need this crap. Taking that with me. Oh, I have a lot of ammo here. I have so much ammo here. Okay, well, I'm going to bring the ammo with me. And I'm going to bring the money with me as well. Because we're going to go hunting over near the Wasteland Trader. English probably want warm beer in a crate. Don't. Don't think I understand. <laughs> I feel like this is a slight on people who are English, but besides that, I don't understand. <laughs> I'll have some coffee. Thing in here. There's lots of water. Ah, I have lots of water filters here. With this many, with these four water filters plus what I have, I'll be able to create 36 bottles of water for harvest. I think it's common for English people to drink room temperature beer. Huh. Okay. That might be possible, in fact. <laughs> I do not know either way, so I can't comment, but... That sounds like a thing that you could potentially fool me into thinking. Oh, the cigar, does, it gives you strength. I didn't think there was a face item for strength. Oh, cool. Anything here I want to bring with me to the tree? 
Oh, I know what I should bring with me. I'll make some paintbrushes. And I'll make some leather pots. Because paintbrushes sell for 40 each, despite being like one leather and not much else. Okay, so it'll all sit in there. I bring it with me. Uh, room. Perfect. Graceful as always. I'm also thinking maybe of, um, so we have, like, the big disaster here. I might clean this stuff up, like, loot the, uh, I mean, I can loot the cars right now, see if I'm getting vehicle books, but, like, otherwise I might just, like, clean this up. Heck, I could even fix the bridge, potentially. Not that, like, it's an important bridge, but, like, it might be fun. Oh, yeah, there's lots of zombies here, I forgot. Well, I have an M60, so bring it, bitches. I really wish I had a scope for this. Feels really bad without a scope. Yeah, I can. I'll probably clean up this area a little bit just to like make it a bit nicer. Seeing as it's right by the house, like break the giant pile of crap, we get rid of the vehicles. Generally, make this area a little bit nicer. Cool. Well, I guess I'm gonna leave some stuff here. I don't actually get it with me. <laughs> oh yeah one day I will have that fixed just not yet okay let's grab this while we're here because I mean why not uh, I got a case of green tea iced tea the other day and it's very good I thought it act for the longest time. It's like, wow, this is my least favorite version of peace tea. It's like that's a iced tea brand if you're not familiar, and uh, it's actually really good. Ooh, Twelve lock picks, nice. Assault rifle, shotguns, handgun, SMG five. Oh, that might actually be okay. I should actually. Excuse me? Desert Vulture? I have never tried that weapon before. That's like the upgraded handgun. That's cool. I need to remember to... Desert Eagle? Oh, is that... Is that the type of weapon it is? Nope, oh, this is the wrong way. I don't know much about guns. It sounds familiar, though. Yeah, not far enough away. Okay. I wonder if they call it Desert Vulture because of the vultures in the game. <laughs> well, I don't know anything about the Desert Eagle, but it is a more powerful weapon, I guess. I don't know. It comes after the Magnum, which is weird, because you'd think the Magnum would be most powerful handgun in the world. Whatever. For most old people, or par people who had... For people who uh, whose older parents would quote it, no, like the Dirty Harry quote. Hey, first bear of the stream.
I also cleared up uh, some of the uh, cars on the road on my way back from the Wasteland last stream. Because, like, we last ended uh, at the trader in the Wasteland, so I just, like, cleared what I could on the way back. Just to make it an easier drive in general. The less daring I have to do, the more I can just, like, sip on my iced tea or whatever while uh, I drive. Okay. Trader? I think it's a trader. Yep, yeah, trader. Sell some crap. Hi, Bob. Do you have anything for us? I don't, don't think so. I think we're here very recently. Hmm. This is vehicle books? Well, yes, I'll take that. Drone, robotic drone medic mod schematic. That's cool. I don't have any ability to use dr dramatic, dramatic drone. Oh. I don't have any ability to use robot drones. <laughs> oh, what happened there? Up some rocks, good. We'll eventually want to start collecting seeds. That stuff is good. I might buy the duct tape. Duct tape has become so fucking impossible make. Okay, what do we have? So we have coolers, bar stools, water cool AC sink, filing cabinets. He doesn't have much for decor right now. How much space the water cooler has in it? I'm gonna grab a water cooler. And where's the duct tape? Oh my gosh, so much cement. Fuck that I want cement. Uh duct tape. We are level 52 vehicles now. Oh, oh, wrong button. Hope that didn't freak out the recording too much. Accidentally hit the not full screen button. What am I doing? Already forgotten what I'm doing. Oh my god. <sighs> uh, at least I can always rely on my memory to be that of a gold. Okay, clear. Any pot farms? I don't. I don't want to do buried supplies. Uh, four by four. I think is sixty. I'll check in a sec. Our best moments and PNB machining. I'll pick the restore power at our best moments because it's not too far away and it's about to be night. So. Four by four. Not this. Four by four. Oh. <laughs> 70. Uh. So, like, if I do, like, tier four and five quests, I can potentially get this stuff, too. So, like, we're on tier two quests, so we have the ability potentially to get, like, a mini bike as our quest reward, for example. Um. So, I want to keep pushing the tiers up with the quests, because the quests correspond to your rewards. And you can get some pretty obscene rewards. I want this restore power. Wow, look at that. So a, a tier 1 fetch is, thir is uh, 
is 300 dukes, and a tier 2 is like 13 to 1400. It's like you just add, a, you, it looks like you add about 1000 tokens on to the reward for each tier. But we need to go up in tiers, because like we can make so much fucking money so quickly. I was going to sell this. I can buy more duct tape. Yeah, fucking duct tape. Did I buy it all? No, I didn't buy it all. Now I have all the duct tape. Cool. Leave that there, because not much. Okay. Let's head over to the quest. Ow! I didn't think he'd get me! <laughs> uh. This is why we don't take silly risks. No bear hug. Yo. Yo. Wait, why is there... Hold on a second. Flight detour. We can't start the quest now anyways. Not for another hour. So, run over here to this airdrop that apparently happened. There's another bear. Fuck. Uh, some of you are not following me. Good. Airdrop! Iron armor. Nice. Eighty health and water. Not very much. I actually drink some liquids. Oh fuck it. I'll take the clam chowder. No bear, please. I don't like bears. They're so hairy. Why is there so many bears? We saw like no bears last last stream, and now I've seen four already. Snake. How? How? Thank you. No, don't need more bear. Disagree. This is how little we need bears. Testosterone. Hey, hunting bears is profitable. I mean, if I'm going to get a hundred tokens worth of testosterone extract every time, and they stack up to ten, not so bad. Plus bones for glue and leather for dusters. But what do I hear? Something here. That oh, right there. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, I'm hearing though. Right there. Yeah. 
be making sounds. See me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be getting a snake bonus. Okay, well, it's 2200, so I need to get to the generator quick. I guess I go up. Please tell me I didn't just see radioactive. I can't shoot through, I don't think. Okay, so this light actually does count, but not much. Strange. Someone saw. Okay. How do I enter? That one. Empty. Empty, I mean it's full of liquor. Better to destroy the door. Okay, where is that? Oh, he's not irradiated anymore because I activated the quest. And the quest is probably lower tier than the area is supposed to be because it's a tier two. Oh, that, that book scared me when it blew up. <laughs> where the fuck is the generator anyway? That way? Well, actually, it would make most sense for the generator to be outside, come to think of it. Maybe it's outside. I guess I can explore the inside safely. Enough. Safely enough. Hammer, scrapping tool. Oh, window. Yeah, it's still over there, so it's probably outside in the boathouse. Who is coming out of there? <laughs> Too obvious a place. Also, I am like seven visibility, so you'd think that. Oh, hello. Fuck. Oh, God, these guys scare you sometimes. By you, I mean me. Sneaky books hiding in there. Ready to ambush me. Just like pop out and it's like, have you paid your library fines? Okay, this is definitely meant to trick me to walk on these floorboards. Fine. Wait, are these not... Oh, this is actually really hard. Oh, it's not a floorboard trap. It's a uh, rope down. Eh. I don't know where you are. I don't know what you're angry at. 
I assume it's me. That's okay. Uh, nope, that's less okay. Yeah, we're just not gonna do that. What? What the fuck? Uh, where am I? No, I guess left armor piercing. Someone's angry. Well, they can be angry upstairs. Down here. What? Where? Here? Hello? So, like, how did they see me before, but, like, this guy's standing here and, like, can't even notice me? Like, they found me... Whatever. There's a lot of sounds. Don't like that. Go in now. Bye. Freaked out. Oh, hello. Someone is very angry at me. Oh, hello. I don't know where I am, though. Oh, well, this one does. That's it? I kind of expected a bit more resistance than that, but... Okay. Loot! Where do you come from? Why were you walking? It's a feral and it's nighttime and they were walking towards me. This is suspicious. One. Things odd. Now this is just wood. Okay. Oh, this was covering something up. I mean, I guess it was covering the wall, but, like, I thought it was covering, like, a passage or something. Break that so I don't accidentally... ...it. Oh, why did I get another vehicle book? Whatever. Some point. <laughs> Just say some point. Oh, so I'm about to fail the quest, actually. Because I haven't turned on the fucking generator yet. I need to do that before it turns day. Or I lose the quest. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I can't close it. Oh, well, okay. Just a crawler. Not dangerous. Yay! Quest complete. What? Oh, no. Yeah, 63. Nice. Uh, okay, so... Oh, I already... Darn it, I already took vitamins. <laughs> uh... Shit. Uh, can I put... No. But I want a better grip... <laughs> I want a better grip on my nail gun. Uh... 
Uh, fuck. Oh, actually, I don't need rotting meat at all. I had more cloth so I could glue into... I the green glow from the generator, and I got freaked out for a second. I was like, radioactive! That. Oh, someone just, like, dead on a raft. There's a bird's nest underwater. A fucking stupid bird made a bird's nest underwater. Oh yes, the the ever elusive legendary bish, birdfish. Oh, hello. Morning. I have some toast for you. Unfortunately, the toast is your bud. I mean, unfortunately for you, it's quite fortunate for me. Anything else interesting here? Nothing really. Get XP for that. What? Yeah, it was weird. Well, whatever. Hey, okay. guess my bike is all the way over. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was totally the wrong way. However. But this? Like half a stack of 9mm already. Which is good, because I'm running down my armor piercing. I have more gas somewhere. Oh, I don't have more gas on me! That's not good. <laughs> I guess I'll have to buy gas. I'm at the trader. I don't wish I didn't bring my nail gun with me, come to think of it. Didn't intentionally plan to bring it with me, I just kind of brought it with me anyways. That clears up my inventory a little bit. Oh. I really need to sneak, because otherwise I just have to expend two arrows instead of one. Dad. I guess it isn't a big deal, but... My brain's like, it's not efficient! Of course, the burned out cars do not give gas. Is that a wandering horde? Maybe. Fuck, I forgot to sneak again. I'm going to shoot as many of the ones that don't know I'm here yet, so I can get the bonus. Oh, 
getting some nice piles of XP. That's most of them. Got that one. Crossbow bolt, crossbow bolt, crossbow bolt. Bolt, bolt, bolt. Yeah. Getting really good at that. Happy I switched over to the crossbow. Holy vehicles, there's so many of them here. Give me gas. It's stupid because I have so much gas at home. Well, not so much, but like I have, I have enough that I shouldn't be out of gas. Let's put it that way. And the traps at the horde base take almost nothing, so I don't really need to leave too much gas there either. I need like a hundred gas per horde. Between the two generators, not per generator. There's like a vehicle graveyard here. Nice having music for the stream makes me really nervous because. Like, I don't always hear the zombies immediately because of it. <laughs> like, I don't see things like that. Or the bear sneaks up on me. The bears aren't actually that scary when you have an M60, I gotta say. The M60's pretty beefy. I'm gonna take apart some, like, functional vehicles as well as, like, the crappy ones, just because I'm not gonna come all the way over here just to find vehicles to, like, things, so I don't need to worry too much. No, 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 no. Got every, every rustle in the grass, I hear it's like, bear! I also make rustles when I walk with the grass, too, which is scary. <laughs> Vehicle book! So many vehicles in the wasteland. There's going to be a lot of brass from the radiators. Okay, that's making me nervous. That. No, it wasn't. Forgot to sneak. I think I'm good. Is 
Gotta be kind of careful the bear. Surprised one bullet didn't take care of that guy. Wow. Mainly because one arrow is enough. Maybe it's a bit different because, like, the M60 can be fired really fast, so they have to compensate for it. Holy vehicles. What the fuck? Not cool. How? What happened? I, was that the car that blew up? Okay. This guy, okay. I think I got the car down to like its minimum health. This guy hit it and it blew up. But that doesn't explain why I took no damage from it. Weird. Maybe, well, because I was mid-action, it gave me some sort of invulner- like, a few frames of invulnerability? That was bizarre. Either that, or there was a landmine on the exact opposite side, and it was a chain reaction. Where, where the fuck did you come from? Surprise bear. Lots of radiators. My last car. Oh god, there's more cars here, though. I can't just walk past them. Okay. Second last car. Look at this. Oh, you get cloth from vehicles. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to the trader. See if we can finish that quest. Well, let's see if we can finish that quest. See if we can finish this tier sometime today, maybe. Eh, no. Suck. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a dangerous shortcut. Okay, it didn't screw me. That's
Oh, I just realized it's day 77. It's the day for the 11th Horde already. Uh, I will not have time for that today, though. Get rid of some crap first. I don't know what, though. Oh, des definitely testosterone. I don't need steroids. That's what you make from it. Don't need more headlights. A lot of them. Give me some gas. There. It's a hundred for ninety. That's actually really cheap. I come by twenty five hundred. That's pretty good. Anything else to sell? Let's see. Okay, I have a few things to sell. Okay. I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff, drive home and sort uh, our inventory out, and then prepare for the horde. Uh, I'm going to do that all off-stream, because I don't want y'all to have to wait through all that. But, uh, feeling pretty good about this. Did our first Tier 2 quest. Oh, wait. Let's, uh... Let's quickly accept the quest, or accept the, um, accept the completion of the quest, whatever the word is. Grab this stuff. About to run back in there twice. Okay. Let's finish this quest properly. So I just noticed it in the corner, I'm like, wait. Getting something important. Okay. These are not good rewards at all. Take the crafting magazine bundle. Farm. Residence. 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 And infest clear on Am I Gone Funeral Home. That's good. That'll be fun. Okay. Oh wow, we're maxed armor skill? Nice. Okay. What a random craft, I'll sell the armor. By truly obscene amount of here's the gas. I went past it. There it is. That's all the gas they have. And we can open this. Handgun, two bow hunter, two shotgun. Okay. Now we can end the stream. Thank you to everyone who came today, for everyone who's here and has been here. I really appreciate it. It makes the game a lot more interesting for me to have people to hang out with. Uh, I had two clips go up today for Seven Days to Die on the YouTube channel. I'm pretty happy with both of them. One is like, I actually put a fair bit of editing into, and I really like that one. Uh... There we go. If you want to check that out. If you haven't already followed the uh, you or subscribed to the YouTube channel or follow the Twitch channel, would love if you'd do that. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me a lot. And I hope you all have a great night tonight. Bye.